Hello and welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Series. Um, in this episode, I just wanted to show you not only an obscenely large mushroom island, but this isn't the only one that I found. If you saw my latest community post, you'll know that um, I've actually found more than one in this area. They're kind of far from each other, but it's enough to be considered close. Uh, it's, yeah, it's over there. Hold on. There's one of them. Close to this one. There's supposed to be several, like, tens of thousands of blocks up apart. That one's like three thousand blocks. Spawn in this one. Uh, not as far away if you have an Elytra. And you can see another one rendering in. The gray water. Why did I say it like that? And then you'll see another one. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going. It's it's an endless, well not endless, but seemingly endless mushroom thing. I told you, but I didn't tell you about. You guys know this. It, it's a mushroom island chain. It's not just one. Oh, little tiny one. Is that, is that another one that I didn't notice before? You've got to be kidding me. I didn't see that one. Is that the end of it? Or is there another one that's going to render in? Is there like one more? Nope. That, that seems to be the end of it. That's the end of the island, Jin. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five. Where did the six one go? There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the giant one way back over there somewhere. That's seven. Seven. Seven mushroom islands. Close to each other. Or is it eight? Yeah, that's that's number eight. Or number seven. Number eight is the giant one. Seriously, this this is absolutely nuts. My render distance is maxed out right now. I can't I don't remember where the main one is. Main island is somewhere. It's nearby. Let me grab a lodestone. I have one. That's a desert. I am dead serious. This is perhaps the craziest find I have ever like stumbled across. Thanks to the fact that my render distance is 51 chunks right now. I have it maxed out. I wish I could have it at 64 at least. But I understand why they lowered it because of the caves and cliffs. But I have a pretty good computer. So I don't see why they lowered mine. I don't know why they lowered mine. Because... It can, it performs good with 72 chunks, and it can handle ray tracing, except for that bug that causes it to crash sometimes. Like, it'll load resource packs and then boom, crash. It just happens, so let's do some counting. There's the big one, and then there's number two. Uh, number three, number four, five, Six. Six. 
seven, eight if you count that tiny one as a separate biome, or a separate island, nine if you count that little one, that one doesn't count, it's too small, that's, that's nine, I counted wrong, it was nine, nine mushroom islands in close proximity to each other. That is a steep cliff. Holy crap. I'm gonna check that out. So we've got multiple mush mushroom. Multiple mushroom islands. This very steep cliff that you could dive off of if you wanted to. Mountain. A mountain. That I didn't notice before. Wait, if that's a jungle, is that a jungle? I don't know. Shouldn't this be a stony peaks? Mm, guess not. But we have some mountains too. That's insane. Brew forest. That's absolutely insane that I ended up with nine mushroom islands close to each other. Or at least what I would consider close. my durability oof oh oh my god I gotta check my durability and I face plant on the mycelium at least mycelium is soft so not all bad but the pathway that I have going uh, through the nether isn't fully closed off it's part of it is still out in the open and that could be a problem uh, which one leads to the monument there we go I'm gonna have to go back there and repair my elytra that way Still got a good amount of drip. Not good, but... Hopefully it's enough to get over there safely without falling to my death. What the... What? No! No, no way. Nope. I don't want to go in there. Not, not yet. That's not what this episode is for. I'm going to time lapse the flight over to the monument. Okay, change of plans. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough durability to make it from here all the way to the monument without stopping. Why didn't they fix the door sounds? Seriously, don't put sound effects behind experimental, that's stupid. But, um, yeah, change of plans, not enough durability to fly all the way over there. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what just happened there. Did I put it in the right spot? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so, agenda plans. We're gonna have to take the nether. Which I probably would have done, but my pathway is still out in the open. and I'm using glass so that I can see out 
and the mobs can't see him. The problem is how fragile glass is. It's not exactly the most blast proof thing, but I like the aesthetics of it. The main thing about it is it being fireproof. That's the main thing, because it's just a general rule that you don't use um, flammable blocks in the nether. That's one of the unwritten rules. Just like don't dig straight down. You, you just you just know that you don't you don't do that. So I'm gonna head over to the monument. Hopefully no skeletons spawn on the path. We should be fine though. Ah, there we go. And of course I slammed my head on well I didn't slam it, I just clipped the uh Whoa! I almost hit that warped fungus. I'm getting I'm getting pretty good at flying on this like this particular path. I've gotten pretty good at flying. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I just need to mend my elytra real quick. It's probably almost broken already. Okay. In my usual AFK spot. Where are my golden carrots still there? Seriously, look at that. Why don't we have advanced tooltips on Bedrock Edition? That's one thing I would like to know, is why do we not have advanced tooltips on Bedrock? Why are they only on Java? That's... That's wrong. Uh, do I need to restock on Blackstone too? Yeah, I do. That's, that's not important right now. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit. Just give me a few minutes. Okay. Not quite. Okay, we're good. Now I can turn this noisy thing off. Why does that keep happening? Um, should I head back to the? Oh, there we go. Should I head back to the mushroom thing? I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up transforming any of those islands or not. Not the big one. Definitely not the big one. But one of the smaller ones. Um, I have an idea for like a version of the biome, a version of the custom biome, for like if it spreads up to the up to the surface. Okay, let's see if we can make it again. Oh, let me let me out. There we go. But I'm definitely going to be building a base out there. That's 
That's for sure. With all those mushroom islands, nine of them in total. That's absolutely. That's absolutely crazy. But that means I found ten if you count the one that I found. That's like a bajillion blocks away. Okay, this next part of the path is probably the one that's out in the open. I probably shouldn't be sprinting anymore. Where did I put my food? Just shut up, I didn't ask you. Uh, okay, here we go. Whew. We good? We good? Just keep moving. Keep going. Don't stay in one place for too long. Hi. Okay. The portal just had to be in a soul sand valley, didn't it? It just had to. But we made it. We made it and we are not dead. I should probably stay here. I need to get a thumbnail of this anyway. Actually, wait. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. So, just sprinting across this giant, um, this giant mushroom biome takes quite a while. There is a cave somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Uh, where's the, where's the column? It's over there. But seriously, this is such an interesting um, biome, and the fact that it's supposed to be super rare, super rare, but I found all that crazy stuff. That's insane. That what? Huh? <laughs> Just a floating, a floating um block of nylium. That's not something you see every day. Strange world generation. I'll grab that in a second. Yes, I know I used my pickaxe for that, but I'm too lazy to grab my shovel. Take that home. I'm taking that with me. Wait. That's better. Look at how. Holy crap, look at how bright green the grass is! This is this random patch of grass in the in the middle of the biome. And then you've got this cave. The awesome purple water that would be perfect for the custom biome. Since we can't have flowing colored water in the game. They think it inhibits creativity when it really doesn't. If they can give us flowing colored water, like we can color it in cauldrons and then we take it out and it keeps its color data or whatever it's called. And then we can use it. That would be super cool. It would open up so many possibilities for creativity. But for now, I guess we'll just have to stick to using um, 
the usual stained glass lake method. It's not ideal and it does take longer, but at least you can mix and match the colors to customize it, so it's something that we're just gonna have to stick with for now. Okay. But seriously, look at how long this. Whoa! Oh, oh, water. Look at how long it took to get over there from all the way over there. That's how big this island is. Purple water. Okay, that's that's pretty neat. Look at that. It's like a little archway. What's going on over there? Then again, I kind of don't want to leave this spot because I'm not, I'm still I'm still going with the hard mode thing. What's over there? Is that Stony Peaks? No. Darn it! I'm still I'm still looking for a for a Stony Peak biome, and I have yet to actually find one. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna fly over there. And I'm gonna check that area out. Oh! Hold on. I messed that up. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what is that? Oh, that's a, that's still a mountain. Is that the same mountain I saw before? The one with the cliff? No, that's near the island. That's near the other, other place. This isn't the one with the crazy steep cliffs. Then again, they did call it the Caves and Cliffs update for a reason. Seems like a nice area. Hmm. So yeah, no building in this episode. I think this is going to be more exploration based. What's going on in here? There's... Oh. Okay. 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 Look at this cave, this is pretty cool. It's like a little tunnel. And then it leads out here into this, um... Old growth spruce... Old growth spruce forest, I think? I'm not sure, I'm still not used to the new names. This biome's uncommon, right? Like, it's not super, um... It's not super often that you would come across it. I think I may have just gotten myself completely lost. Okay, give me just a second. I need to land right here. Excuse me. This is a really nice area. If I had known about it sooner, I probably would have built here. But when I created this world, I was 
on a bit of a desperate search for Deep State Emerald Ore when that was first um, when that was first released. So yeah, I kind of just went. I stayed at spawn because it happened to be near an extreme hills biome, and I didn't want to leave until I found a deep slate emerald ore. So yeah, oh, I don't want to land in the water. And head back to that other spot. Wait, is that another ocean monument? Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, wasn't I supposed to get uh mining fatigue? Eh, whatever. I'm better off without it anyway. Um Yeah, this would make a good uh this would make a good thumbnail. But if I did, I would have to keep ray tracing turned off because of the whole um, the whole render distance thing. Then again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Huh? Yeah, that's a good thumbnail. Just let me take all my armor off. Yes, I'm showing the thumbnail pro process. Well, part of it. It's, a, it's just taking a screenshot, pretty much. Okay. F1, and then... Alt F1. There we go. Oh, where, where's F5? There. I really need to get a backlit um, keyboard. So yeah, that's gonna be the first thumbnail in a while that doesn't have a uh, um, ray tracing turned on. Oh, there's the crazy uh, cliff face. So I, I was right, it was over here. With this crazy flipping Mushroom Island equivalent of Hawaii, pretty much. What is that? Is that... Ah! Uh, another ocean monument! But I, I'm not going through the effort of draining another one. That took way too long the first time. Now I I'm not really in the mood to do it again. So yeah, maneuver between the mushrooms. Okay, I failed that. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for um, this episode, so thanks for watching, subscribe if you'd like to, I upload Minecraft videos every Friday, um, so yeah, I found multiple mushroom islands close to each other. 
That's pretty cool. Oh, that is not, that's not fireworks. Um. <clears throat> yeah, um. Hang on, I want to end the video on the main island. There it is. They may seem far apart, but they are actually... I would consider them close to each other. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode is the world tour. Hopefully, Define PBR's Candle Fix actually comes out before then. I was hoping they would have released it already. But they didn't yet. So I'm, wait I'm waiting for that to come out before I do the, uh, the world tour. So, yeah, um, where's my portal? There it is. So yeah, I will see you in the next episode.